Now, the vast majority of athletes in 44's top 44 played more than one sport, with several lettering in three. But at number three, an Ada Bulldog, who not only lettered in football, basketball, and baseball, but was all league in each sport and was perhaps just as good in hockey. <laughs> Zach Dysart, Ada, class of 2008, football. Threw for 11,174 yards in his prep career. At time of graduation, good for second all-time in the state. Passed for 100 touchdowns. Also ran for over 1,000 yards in his career. As a senior named the state and district player of the year, while leading the Bulldogs to the school's first ever playoff victory and a trip to the state semifinals. Also played basketball, twice named Northwest Conference Hoops Player of the Year, and baseball, where he also gained first-team All-League honors. Absolutely, once in a generation is a really good way to describe Zach Dicer. He's known for football, and obviously, when you look at football and Ada and Zach Dicer, you got to throw Mike Fell in the equation. Mike comes in, he brings the system, the Tony Franklin high-powered air raid type offense, whatever you want to call it, and Zach fit it to a T. But what many people don't know, Zach was also a very good hockey player and was really contemplating going that route when it came to sports. And he would play up in Finley a lot at the Cube, but he was just so graceful, I thought, as a football quarterback. He could read plays, he could, de he could see them develop before they actually did. And I think that's what transcended him in high school. He was ahead of his time at eight, in my opinion. Zach Dyser reminded me of the taller Fran Tarkenton. I uh, loved watching him play high school, and then to later find out that he had actually quit and was playing hockey and then had to be talked back into playing football again uh, with Mike Fell and boy that decision was a good one. And His temperament was one that he never got flustered, he was never nervous, you know, he was always cool that way but I, you know, I, I just think, you know, athletically gifted is something that, you know, when you have it that way and you're humble about it, man, that's a great strength to have. Well, Zach was one of those guys that in high school, especially at the Division VI level as it was at that time, really stood out. I mean, his stature was obvious, and his ability to deliver the ball at that level of high school was really unheard of. And he lived up to the hype. He did have pressure because it was a kid that, as he was coming up, you know, here he comes, he's going to be here, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. And, and he handled that beautifully. And yeah, Zach, Zach's one of those young men that, you, you know, he can do anything. Athletically, he's as gifted as anyone I've ever been around. You know, I, I know when he graduated high school, you know, I've, I've said it before, he is a four-sport college athlete. He could have had a Division I hockey, Division I baseball, Division I basketball, and he took his Division I football. And he was one of those guys that everything he did, whether he was bowling in my class or tennis, or you know, playing ping pong or whatever, he was just so much better than everybody else. It was kind of silly. So you knew he was destined for greatness or destined for something special that way. If they had started a cricket team in Ada, you know, in about a month, he'd have been an all-state caliber player in that too, I think. But yeah, I, that's the thing people forget because you know he went on and was so good in football. But you look at him in baseball, and you know, well, it starts with he had a great arm, obviously, but you know, he could do a lot of other things too. And then basketball. He was you know, an all-state type player too, so yeah, he was just an all-around athlete. You mentioned the hockey, and he told me once that he almost gave up football for hockey until Mike Fell made football fun again. So, of course, if you're that good a quarterback, I don't know how you could not have fun in Mike Fell's offense. You know, Mike Fell came to Ada at a time when he had some pieces to put in place, and his offense and his enthusiasm and his way of doing things, I think, was you cannot underestimate, but having Zach to run the controls was very fortuitous as well. I think that, you know, he, he always wanted to prove people wrong. People doubted him. People doubted that he could play uh, at the NCAA Division I level. Uh, people doubted that he could play uh, in the NFL. And I remember sitting uh, at a local establishment uh, with Mike Fell, and Mike, said, and Mike Fell told me, someday we're going to see him in the NFL. And this was back when he was at Ada. And, uh, and sure enough, he was right. Zach Dysert is a great young man. Uh, really enjoy talking to him. And I, again, when you talk about uh, young men representing themselves off the field uh, and, and, and being like that, uh, it, it's, it's special. Recruited by Salina grad Mike Bath, Dysert rewrote the Miami record books, breaking many of Ben Roethlisberger's marks. 
Drafted by the Denver Broncos, he has spent time with several NFL teams. Zach Dysert, number three on 44's Top 44 Male Athletes. Dysert, reunited with Adam Gase, his offensive coordinator at Denver, is set to compete for the backup quarterback job with the Miami Dolphins this offseason.